Hey guys, the Texan Hunter here, coming back at you with another The Hunter Call of the Wild walkthrough. This time we're doing Voiles, a silent hunt, and the objective here is to travel down to the Lake District in Belmont and harvest two coyotes with a bow. So let's go head over here to the map and see where we're at. Okay, so we're down here in the Belmont Lake District, and you can see the outpost here. Um, and, you know, there's generally some coyotes between these two outposts down here. And so what I'm going to do is just going to start walking north to this other outpost. And and I'm pretty sure I'll run into some coyote tracks in between these two and at least be able to get on the trail of one. So let's head out. Sure enough, I didn't have to go very far, and just like I thought, found some tracks right here between the two outposts. Alright, so now we need to trail these tracks. Now, coyote hunting is one of the most difficult tasks in this game, especially hunting with a bow. So what I like to do is just get on the tracks and just run. And Let's go ahead and see if we can't find some uh, droppings, which will tell us about how far behind this coyote we are. Okay, this coyote isn't dropping any droppings, um, but we're just going to continue running after him. And sometimes when you get close to a coyote, he'll sound off a warning and then um, he won't spook, but he will sound off a warning. Like there he is right there. So this is a great spot on this trail. I'm going to lay down right here, get my call out and uh, see if I can't call him in. Now, we got to shoot this guy with a bow, so we've got to get him in close. Now what I'm going to do here... Yes, I'm actually going to crawl forward and kind of mash the grass down so that I can get a clear line of sight. While I'm calling, I'll just move around here and use my body to kind of flatten the grass out. Um, and that way, I can see as he comes in. This gives me a clearing. So it's kind of a little trick here that I do is use my body to flatten the grass out to give me a good shooting lane. Um, so that when he comes in, I'm not shooting through the grass. So now let's just call him in here. He should come in. Coyotes come in slowly, so, you know, sometimes they might just come up real fast, but generally it takes a while. They're a very skittish animal. Um, the wind is in the perfect direction. It's blowing away from me, um, and I'm downwind from that coyote. So let's see where he comes in here. Uh, he Generally, coyotes will kind of sneak in under cover, so they'll come in through trees. They, they generally won't walk out into the open unless you force them to walk out into the open. Okay, so I'm just going to change my arrow out here to the proper size, and let's just call him in and wait till he shows up. Come on. Just in case you were wondering exactly where I'm at right now, you can see that I followed him from between the two cabins over here to this side of this hill, so that's exactly where I'm at, just waiting for the coyote to come in. Okay, I hear something. There he is right there. Just standing right there, coming down the trail. Perfect. Get my bow out. I've ranged him with the rangefinder there. Know exactly where to shoot. And that's it. Dog number one down. Okay, so there's another coyote right there. There's his tracks, and he might be close enough and even coming in. And since I'm using a bow and silent, it may not have scared him off. So I'm not going to do much. Just going to sit here. Going to slowly sneak over here to pick up this dog without making too much noise and just continue calling while I'm doing this uh, because that other coyote might be nearby. Generally coyotes run in pairs so if you're looking for two and you find two tracks and you shoot one um, it's a very good likelihood the other one's close by and when you're hunting with a bow that's a silent method so it doesn't scare the animals nearly as uh, much as the uh, rifle or something like that so uh, we see that was a good shot. All right, now let's go see if we can't find this other coyote. So I've tracked this other coyote over to the top of this hill, and I hear him down there. Um, so he's not too far away. The problem is, is the wind is shifting and his direction is shifting. And see how that wind 
uh, direction meter down there showing that he's not too far off of me. Um, he's not directly downwind, but the problem with coyotes is they will circle around and try to get downwind of you. So I'm going to kind of scooch over to the side trying to keep the wind direction away from him. But uh, if I know what he's going to do, he's going to circle down along the bottom of this hill and uh, try to get downwind of me. So I've got to be real careful not to let him get by me. And he's going to be in deep cover, so it's going to be hard to see him. I'm going to get on top of this rock here and lay down because I don't have any trees for concealment here. And that's one of the perks that if, you, if you're going to bow hunt, you need to get the per perk that allows you to shoot from a prone position or laying down position. And that's a perk that you have to work at to get, but it's very effective for hunting coyotes, especially if you get up on top of a rock which is my favorite place to hunt coyotes from, is up high on top, laying on top of a rock. Let's see where he comes in at. This coyote is being really sneaky. I, oh, where, there he is. Oh, where's he at? Right there. Oh, doggone it. He's right down wind of me. Let me try to get an arrow in here before he runs off. Ah, he winded me. I told you he was going to circle down. Ah, doggone it. Now he's directly down wind of me, and I'm going to have to... Try to figure out where he's going. I'm not going to shoot him. I'm just trying to track him with the bow, with the scope here. Okay, so he's downwind. Now we've got to try to circle around. Just going to take off running, and I'm going to make a big circle. Try to get out in front of him. Um, get downwind from him again, because there's no way. He'll continue to run downwind forever. If you go straight after him, they'll just continue running downwind. So what you got to do is just make a big circle run way away and try to get around uh, the dog and get downwind from him then you can call him back in so this one is playing t hard to get he's probably a higher level dog and, and a little more wiser so this is coyote hunting on the hunter of the call of the wild they try to make it realistic and to some extent that's exactly how a real coyote would act in the wild uh, they would definitely try to circle downwind of you before coming in and they've added that characteristic in this game. So I'm going to go down here. And uh, once I get downwind enough, I think I'll start calling again. Okay, so got down here. And I think I'm downwind of the dog now, hopefully within range. I'm going to crawl on top of this rock here, um, if I can get up on top of it. And lay down and call for a bit and see if he can hear me. The, the, the range of the calls is not very far. Um, so maybe, uh, I guess the coyote call has about 150 yard range. So if he's not within 150 yards, he can't hear you. So I'll, um, move upwind if I can't draw him in from here. So I'm just going to call here and see if I can't get a response out of him. Let's we'll see if I can see him here. Oh, there he is right there. Wow. I calculated this perfectly. He's coming right in on me. Oh man, there's some thick brush there. The wind, I'm downwind from him, so I should be good. Let's just let him sneak up in here. He's going to come right through those stupid trees right there. It's going to be hard to get a shot on him. He's behind rocks and stuff. The problem with that outline is you can see it through objects, so sometimes you'll shoot at an animal, but he'll be behind the object. Right now he's Looks like he's still behind that rock. I'm going to keep calling here. Just keep watching here. Come on now. He's behind that rock. I can't see him. Where's he at? Where did he go here? little stinker he's a smart one and this is the great challenge of the game is getting these really wise coyotes to come in on you where did he go there he is he's inside there alright there come on up should be able to get him
just waiting for him to stop where I can get a good shot on him. What in the world? That was a dead shot. I'm going to leave it. Completely missed that dog. I'm just going to lob some arrows at him, see if I can't hit him. Gosh darn it all, what happened? I don't understand that. I had a dead shot there. Just, it's like I did, it's like he was behind something. Hmm. Okay, well, now we got to work and try to get this dog back in, and he's a smart one. It's hard to get him, but that's the way it is, coyote hunting. So let's just keep working at it and see if we can't get him. Well, this guy never would come back, and he's playing really hard to get, so it looks like I'm just going to have to run him down and find, get him in a different place. So just take off, and let's go get him. Well, this dog took a lot of work to get to come in. I chased him for a long time, but I finally got him coming in here, and he's going to, I can hear him, his footsteps, and hear him a little bit, hopefully. This time I won't miss. You know, these uh, good dogs like this, this is, I love the game, uh, this, this game, because of this aspect right here, that they don't just give things to you all the time. you got to work at them, and that makes the game fun. But if you watch my videos, you're going to learn the techniques of how to get this done. So I'm just, oh, there he is right there. Just waiting for him to get out and just stop right there. And that is it. Oh, nope. He's going to run on me. Okay. Well, I thought I had a good shot, but I did get an arrow in him. Let's go over there and uh, we'll, he's not going to go far. So we'll track him down. There he is right there. All right, finally complete this mission. Shot a little high. There we go, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you have, please like, subscribe, and comment. Until next time, this is the Texan Hunter reminding you to always walk softly and carry a big gun.